Oh, just doing a, a couple of jobs in the oven here. I've got some um, blanks that I'm testing. Um, I'm going up to test. Um, I've just like, finished off grinding them and things like that. And I uh, thought I would uh, pop them in the uh, just pop them in the oven, get that cracking, so I can be looking at uh, you know how the uh, how the intemperance going. And when I was doing that, I thought that a few little hints and tips and things that I've picked up about this uh, might come in useful. Um, now the first thing I want to talk about is um, one of these. Um, infrared thermometers, um, great little piece of kit as long as you're aware of the limitations. Now basically what these do is these measure the temperature at the surface of something. So they're great for things like oil you know, and things like that. Water they're not good at because they measure the temperature of the steam coming off. Apparently oil they're very accurate with. Um, what I found using this I kept finding getting some really strange readings and didn't know what it was so I had a good Google and what I found was like when I was um, quenching the blade blanks what I'm thinking anyway is that when I was using the thermometer to check the temperature it was giving me a regular accurate reading you know, consistent reading and I think that's because it was reading the oil that was clinging to the uh, blanks as they were being uh, quenched um, however using it in the oven and checking the temperature of the oven it kept giving me some strange readings Anyway, googling it, it looks like apparently the infrared doesn't work very well on shiny surfaces. It's much better on um, food type products. It measures so if you put it on a blank, you get some really can get some really strange readings off of a, of a shiny blank. Um, so what I've actually done is after a bit of a playing around, when I'm actually checking the temperature of the oven, what I do is and be really careful with this, you guys. It's up to you whether you do it. I do, but I stick my hand right in the oven and I get this right over onto the uh, where am I? right right over in, into the middle of the oven, um, right onto the uh, blanks into the middle of the blanks and check the temperature there, and that seems to give me a pretty consistent result, which matches what the oven's at. Um, but it also means that I've actually found out that my oven isn't as accurate as I thought it was. It actually spikes about 5 degrees over what you set it at. That, that's pretty good. When the temperature drops, it drops at least 15 degrees below before the oven kicks back in. So that's a 20 degree range. The main concern, obviously, is the top temperature because that's what's going to give you your hardness. So that's something to bear in mind with this. You've got to get it right in there measuring the temperature that's actually surrounding the steel so that you've actually got it in. That brings me to my second point. And what that is, is testing different parts of the oven and things like that. What I found is that the bottom of the oven, you put your oven to 200, that might be at 240, 250 degrees, because obviously it's heating the air up in the oven. And depending on where I put the blanks, what I found was that laying the blanks flat onto the, um, onto the shelf, which you often see on the videos, you'll see people open it up, bob it, chuck a knife in, shut the lid, that my, they were regularly hitting 230 degrees before the uh, oven would kick off, even though you know the actual things in there weren't getting to that heat. And I think what it is, is the actual air in the oven was only getting to say 215, depending on what temperature I've been. Mean, I've, I've altered things at the minute. I'm setting, I'm at the minute I'm going for about two, um, I'm actually going for about uh, 215. Um, so I set the oven to 210 and it peaks at 215. But laying the blades down, I think the radiant heat off the bottom of the oven was taking the blanks up to about 230. So, you know, what that means obviously is there's, there's going to be quite a bit of difference. I'm talking in centigrade here, guys. Any of you are working in Fahrenheit, this is centigrade. Um, so obviously the, those fluctuations are sort of like half what you'd be seeing in a Fahrenheit oven. Um, so what I actually ended up doing um, to try and protect from any heat from the bottom and ensure that the blades were being heated by the air in the oven is I'll give you a quick look at this is there we go I hope you can see that and basically what that is is that's a piece of like fireproof board um, that you make you can get for putting in fires you know open fires and things like that um, with metal sticks in it and what I found there is that when I'm checking the temperature now on those there that the temperature is consistent on all that level so I think it's stopping the radiant heat from you know the radiant heat's coming up it's stopping that and the, the blades are just being heated by the temperature around them. And like I say, they're fluctuating now with that temperature in there, which is only going up to about 215, which is what I want, and dropping down quite a bit lower. But like I say, that's not a major problem. I'm leaving them in there for plenty of time. I've also got my uh, scales in there at the moment that I've just uh, got out of the uh, stabiliser. I'll give you a quick look there. Next shelf down. There we are. We'll hang on too long. There they are. There's half a dozen blocks there, curing. Makes a kitchen stink. Luckily, the most beloved's not here, but I've got the windows open. Apparently, it's not toxic, but 
you know, they were out, quick wipe down, wrapped in foil, straight in the oven, I'm not giving them a chance to weep out or anything like that. So and I'm going to have a bit of a check on those and see how I think I'm doing shortly. But so anyway, there's a few little tips. Like I say, find out your short, the shortcomings and what you can actually use the infrared thermometers for, things like that. Um, be careful where you put things on your oven. Try and protect it from the heat and the, the heat coming up from the bottom, which is where the heating elements are. So it's the, the air in the oven that's actually heating them, which is what the uh, thermometer will be checking. And uh, like I say, you, but the bottom line is you've got to do this in your oven oven to find out exactly the temperatures your oven is working at compared to your thermometer. But I hope those uh, couple of little things to think about were reasonably interesting. On to the next job.